Today, we're going to talk through something we commonly get asked and people tend to think about. So if you spend any time Googling online about whiteboards, something you're going to see is DIY versus buying them and some of the pros and cons. So I'm here to talk to Kevin from Revolution Lightboards about maybe some of the pros and cons of each and uh, what you tend to tell people when they're asking you that question. Yeah, great question. So, um, and actually, we've, we've worked with a lot of customers to build their own system. Sometimes we work with customers who build their own from scratch, all their own components, and that, that's great. And I think there's an important aspect of this that, you know, if somebody's in, uh, you know, in, in a school where they don't have budget to afford a lot of components, if they can piece something together and get people excited about it, um, that honestly is a, is a great project. It's a great thing to go for. Because sometimes people need to be seers to be believers. Sure. Um, that said, we offer components for customers to build their own light board. So we have do-it-yourself kits that really take the guesswork out of uh, putting together a light board. You can decide which components you need if you want to do some things yourself um, and buy the others from us. You know, you can get the, the frame to hang the glass on, the hardware to hang that glass, the edge lights we've talked about, uh, presenter lights to shine at the talent, uh, marker trays, uh, markers, all that kind of stuff. We offer everything so somebody can put together their do-it-yourself system, have all the accessories they need, um, and, and take a lot of the, the guesswork right out of that so you have a clear path forward. Got it. So a little bit more budget-friendly, maybe takes a little bit work, but all those pieces are available. Yeah, and a couple things I'd say to add to that is, is when you get the do-it-yourself components, yes, there's inherently more assembly, right? So there's some time going into that. Um, and we see, you know, in particular, like commercial customers, by the time somebody's assigned to the project, if they're doing, trying to do research to figure out some components that they want to build themselves, a lot of times that doesn't really make financial sense. Uh, they're okay. just going to spend a lot of time looking. Um, and they might, they might find something that they think is good, try that, and then when they realize that there's a concern with it, ultimately, you know, they've spent a lot of time and money um, to then get to a, a good solution. So all of our, our components are designed to fit together well. Um, you know, assemble easily. And uh, so that, that can be a good, a good option. Now, one thing I'd also say to add to that is the glass. So any, any of our customers who've put together their own do-it-yourself system, we supply a drawing with all the, the dimensions, the specifications to ask for, and you can, you can buy that from a, a local commercial glass installer. The, the concern, as you wrote down, is quality. So when you edge light the glass, and again, we could shut off the edge lights, you know, we can't see the writing, you wouldn't be able to see uh, defects that are in it. But once you start lighting that glass, you will quickly start to see scratches and imperfections that are within that glass. And so I figure probably one in four customers that are building a do-it-yourself system decide, hey, this first piece of glass is just not uh, quite going to be good enough for us. They send it back to their dealer. Typically, they're able to get that resolved with one exchange, um, but it can be a, a stress point. And I would say we've had a lot of customers express to us that even just coordinating the glass delivery and, and having multiple vendors uh, to work with, and then if there's a, a quality issue where they have to exchange, um, that can be kind of a stressful component of it. So all of our complete systems come, our turnkey systems as we call them, include the glass, everything's pre, you know, the, the light board panel is pre-manufactured, everything's sealed in. Um, so there's not that, you know, that extra assembly of that, if you will, but also a very important point is the extensive polishing that we do upon the glass. Mm. So, you know, the, the glass, when we buy it, we work with a, a specific vendor that we've uh, developed a very good relationship with. They process our glass differently um, than what you're gonna get from a, a typical commercial glass installer. But even still, we bring that glass in and we polish that extensively to remove um, probably 95% of surface imperfections that, that glass wow. could have. And basically, we're trying to get below the threshold. So when you set up your camera, you tune everything in, that none of those things are a, a meaningful artifact in your, your video. And even on the do-it-yourself systems, with depending on the camera you have, a lot of times that can be, you know, if there's tempering haze, things like that can be adjusted out. Um, but it takes, it takes a little bit more work. And um, for some users, that, that's not something that they want to get into. So, Perfect. Yeah, the other thing I'd say, just to touch on the assembly time, uh, again, you know, our largest systems come pre-assembled in two sections. The final setup time, we're looking at, you know, it's, it's 10, 15 minutes um, just to put those two sections together. And then, you know, you can move on with setting up the rest of your studio. 
Whereas the do-it-yourself system and it, you know, just you got more time into that. So if you're not the type of person who likes to be assembling things like that, uh, the the complete turnkey systems are a good good option. Got it. Well, that's a good summary. Thanks for taking the time to run through these. If you have any other questions, make sure to reach out on our website.